Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dweller's Empty Path. Escape Chasm 2, I call it. I don't know if Temmie calls it that, because she made a joke game about it, as I've mentioned in earlier episodes, but yeah. Anyway, um, this is definitely going to be the last episode, and we're essentially just cleaning up what we've missed so far. I don't know if there's an actual conclusion. I think it's like, just laying the groundwork of a, of a world, and having the characters in it so that you can talk to them and get to know them in preparation for other projects, which, after reading the notes that came with this game, seems obvious since she essentially said, paraphrasing of course, that she's omitted um, abandoned projects that allude to story elements in a later project that she might include in that later project, which essentially means she's working on another project, which is great. Although, some of the abandoned projects that were included with this game include, like, a story revolving around Claire. I would have loved to have seen that. I think she... I love Yoki, but I think I really, really like Claire as a character, too. The prince is so handsome. If only he wasn't so cold and stern. Indeed. Well, I have our notes up here. And the notes are essentially a guide that was included with the game. There are no words whatsoever. It's a picture of... I don't think it's every screen in the game. And I don't even think they're exact pictures of the screen. They're like... Drawings... That are supposed to represent pictures... Or screens in the game. But yeah, they've got some icons in them and I guess those are our clues. <laughs> um, okay, yes, yeah, so... I think that icon is supposed to be a quest. Alright, well, that means that there might be three quests in this direction. Oh, what have we got here? Ah, oh, yes, the doctor. Wait a second, actually. Ha 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 ha! Sneaky sneak! And we've also got other characters to meet as well. Kitties! Meow. Meow. I'm glad I could walk up between here, that was cool. <gasps> Another kitty. More kitties! Heck yeah. This episode might be a little bit um, shorter than the others. Ah, oh, this is where she came from. Is she a kitty? I think she's a kitty. I think she's a... a Necromata. Warren clan. I've um, admittedly got Warren clan. They're not called that, obviously, but I have. Um, they're called Yamaneko in uh, Yamaneko in my projects. Um, but yeah, I have um, cat-based races as well. I like the whole race system of. Um, uh, yeah, the Breath of Fire games, because it, um, it just mixes things up a little bit more. It's not just classes, it's not just jobs. In fact, I actually kind of find jobs and classes to be a little bit boring. Ah, oh, yes, the docks. I forgot about the docks. You're not thinking of hopping aboard a ship, are you? I don't plan on riding the ship, but I might walk around a bit. I want to go on the ship and grab a drink. This is a nice fishing spot, but there's so much cargo on the pier today. I guess a larger ship must have come in. Hmm, interesting. <gasps> Save point. Should probably. Oh. I wonder what's behind, beyond the sea, far off lands, other kingdoms, new horizons. Maybe people like me. But I don't think the prince would ever let me go and see for myself. I need to stay here anyway and wait for... I'm not catching any fish. I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Nice day for fishing, isn't it? <laughs> Kitty. Catching a whole ton of fish today. Lucky me. Yes, lucky you. The sea really washes away all your stresses and worries, huh? Yeah, 
Yeah, unless it's about to drown you. <laughs> Ooh, a lighthouse. Why not take a look at the view from upstairs? I often find myself staring out at the ocean and losing track of time. This bed is a bit old. A really pretty painting of the ocean. Is she the lighthouse keeper? I guess this is the lighthouse's light? <laughs> pretty. I wonder if I look at... I kind of a little bit hoped that there would be a different one. Wait a second. Damn. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit too used to Zelda games and going through people's boxes and stuff. Well, I guess let's go on the ship. You're not setting out, are you? Eh, go ahead. I won't tell. I wish this was the guard that always catches me whenever I leave somewhere. I always feel strange. It always feels strange to walk on the land again after spending days at sea. I feel like I'm still swaying. Hmm. <laughs> My dog. Woof! I love the sea. I do not love the sea. The captain's quarters are ahead. Welcome aboard the ship! Hello. Is the ship going to head out soon? Afraid not, we'd be docked for a while. Besides, the prince have me... The prince have me head if we set sail with the aboard. Yeah, I guess he wouldn't be too happy. Why not head below deck and grab a drink? It sounds kind of nice, actually. But... Why does the captain keep a barrel of fish in his room? Indeed. A various assortment. Captain outfits. <laughs> oh, wait. A complex looking map. A grand view of the ocean. This stuff sure is refreshing. Hey, uh, can I get you anything? Yeah, can I get a cranberry juice? With some whipped cream on top? Coming right up! That's a thing? What if it's good? Ah, so refreshing. This is exactly what I needed to take my mind off things. I agree, it's quite tasty. Well, it was what I needed. What are you doing here? I'm allowed to enjoy a drink myself once in a while. Does your stuff even suit your palate? Does this stuff even suit your palate? Whoops. I'm not one for juice. So, you really just walked in here just to patronize me, huh? Don't be ashamed. I enjoy cranberry juice too. That's your only decent quality. Though, I have a feeling what you're drinking right now isn't cranberry juice. Not in this kind of establishment, no. Taking a small break before I gotta go back to lifting cargo. Feels like it never ends. More! 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 Also, by the way, I'm pretty sure that guy that raised us isn't Zera. I think I'm good for now. Bye, Zera. I heard recently that there's been more aggressive beast types appearing here in this land. I don't know if I want to stay here too long. A hammock bed. Looks like fun to sleep on. Yeah, I bet I bet they miss regular beds when they're out at sea. Oh, those antennae. And that forked tail. You're that beast type that works for the crown, right? Yeah, sort of. But I'm not a beast type. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a lot of rumors spreading around about you. Are you sure you're not a beast type? I'm not. At least, I don't think I am. A lot of sailor outfits. <laughs> hmm. 
All this stuff's all gotta go. But the crew's on break at the moment. It's a very strong odor coming from this barrel. Alright, well, I guess we're done here. I know that we've got, like, three other characters to meet. And, um, yeah, if you look to the right of the screen, you might see that instead of a green image, there's a darker one. This one was lifted from Tammy's official Twitter. And I did so because I knew that this was going to be the last episode. So I thought I'd change it up a little bit. And damn, that girl makes some pretty artwork. Okay. And obviously, it goes without saying, check out her work. Like, all credit to her. She made this game, she made the art. You know. All the love. All the credit. All the stuff. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're done the... Done the boat. Done the lighthouse. Sat down at the ocean. I can't remember if there was a screen with the... with the doctor. But apparently there is a screen in this room. I mean, in this... screen. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh! It's from the tailors, of course. Man. Seems like forever ago that we did that. Okay, well... Hmm... Oh, I'm gonna save it. We haven't done that in a while, I don't think. I hope I find the rest of the pages of the journal in the graveyard. ended up heading in that direction. Whoops. We'll go there last. Okay. I'm not seeing the characters on the map. I'm only seeing... Because there's like a relationship guide. And, um... I had a look at that. And there were characters on that. Huh. Well. Alright. In that case, let's head up. And we'll go and talk to that sleeping beast tribe member. Beast type member, sorry. in the middle of this. What is even happening with that? I want to know. They better not be bullying that fox. Because I love foxes. Hmm. Rescued the old man. Hey, hello. Hey! Hey, wanna wrestle with me? Sorry, I don't really feel like doing that. Hey. Don't lie to me. I saw you earlier. You're really strong. I saw you fighting earlier with someone else. She mean with Kano? She saw that? Fight with me. Fight with me. Uh. Talk about playing rough. 
tell me about it. It's a good thing I happened to be walking by. Yeah, that was good timing. I'm not really at my best at the moment, so dealing with this beast type on my own might have been tricky. She seems so harmless in this form. She's really no different from a regular cat after all, huh? Yeah, that ball of yarn you had with you is re really dealt the final blow. <laughs> also, why did you have that with you? wonder why she was feeling so riled up. I don't know. She's not the only one who's been lashing out at me like this recently. Well, she shouldn't be a problem for a while. Yeah, she's really cute in this form. I think she'd make a nice ingredient for my latest work. A nice ingredient. Well, I'm heading back to the house. I'll see you later. Thanks, Claire. Saving our butt again. What was that all about? Meow. Aww. I love that character. I want to know more about that character. Okay, wait a second. Is there a way to the left we can go? I'm hoping that this just pads out to, like, a proper-sized episode. That's, like, my main concern, to be completely honest. Oh. Have we even gone around here? Or is this just where we were before when we... Yeah, okay. Okay, I know where we are. So the Sleeping Beast Tribe... Ah, uh, Beast Type. It's right here. I wonder where she even came from. She showed up just a few day a few years ago, and has been a pain ever since. She always seems to be targeting me. I don't know why, but... Even though she strikes so violently, it sort of feels like... She doesn't really mean it. Like, she knows she can't really beat me. It's strange. Have I met her before all of this? To be honest, she's the kind of beast type the prince would get rid of. She's the dangerous type that'll violently attack anyone. But... I have a feeling she's not really what she seems. I should keep her existence a, se existence a secret from the prince. She never wandered too close to the village. And she only seems interested in attacking me for some reason. I better leave. I don't want to stick around for if she wakes up. I do! Well, I guess it's time to search some of these caves again. I guess this is just random caves where Beast Tribe hang out. Guy, what's going on? I guess this is where that beast tribe lives. I kind of want to talk to her, or have, like, some sort of engagement with her, you know? Nothing in here. Alright, well, I guess we're not doing much there. Oh, wait, wait a second. Huh? There's a letter attached to this tree. I can't read this at all. What language is this? I'll put it back, I guess. Who could this letter be for, this deep in the forest? Maybe that's the spell Claire put up? At least I hope so. Done that. Um, hmm. I 
think it's time to head back up past our house. Also, what was the deal with those people in that fairy circle thing? I think this is where the dragon lives. I might go check on those people later. Still just chilling there, dragon? Cool. Damn, it looks like um, a few other characters in the relationship chart aren't actually in the game, which sucks because some of them are awesome. That cat creature that we saw before was one of them, and that sleeping um, beast type was one of them as well. But there was a couple of other ones. It's a little disappointing, I really wanted to see him. Oh well, I don't really need any water right now. Okay. the last ones? Yes! I was starting to stress out that I wouldn't be able to find them. <gasps> oh, it's you! I've known you since you were very little. I've been watching you over the years. You've grown so much and look so much more tasty. I think I remember you. I don't recall you ever wanting... I don't recall you ever wanting to eat me, though. I thought you were a more peaceful beast type. I am peaceful! I don't eat anything that's alive, I only eat what's already dead. Ah, so you're a scavenger. I've been waiting for you to die ever since I laid my eyes on you. I can't wait for that day. Don't look so enthusiastic. The man who visits you, he also looks so tasty. Is she talking about Sarah? <laughs> you know, she's a creep. But I kind of like her. I guess she is in the game after all. That was one of the characters, by the way, that I thought was omitted. Awesome. Good. There's still a few more. Two more, I think? Although one of them was a question mark, like a shadow. And I think there was another one, and then there was the person that raised us? Um, where... What about a model? Should visit her one more time. I love how she just lives in a hole in the ground. <laughs> Come on out, A-model. Last time we had a run-in with a beast type, Claire said, This is so annoying. You can handle this, right? And without waiting for me to answer, she just flew off. She left me to fend off the beast type all by myself. I barely made it out of that scrap alive. She's the worst. Now, that does sound like her. Last time... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, she's got like a mechanical arm or something, right? Man, I would love to see a fully-fledged... Um, like, 3D rendered model game, just to, like, give the characters a lot more depth, but I guess that's what uh, Temi's amazing artwork is for. Okay, so, a model, I believe that was the cat centaur thing. <laughs> and then... Below here was where we found that man. Almost ready to go to the graveyard and um, check out the last few pages of the journal. So it turns out that this turned out to be a full episode after all, so 
pretty happy with that, to be honest. I'm gonna be sad when it's over, because I've really enjoyed this experience. The music I'll probably carry with me for a while, and I'm very happy that Temi also included a folder with all of the music tracks in it in the download of this game. That was very generous of her, and I'm very happy she did that. This house was not here before. It's also not on the map. Did you enjoy your stroll to the Crown's castle? Ours is much better, don't you agree? Did you know I went there? Okay, it's gonna stay there. I'm a little bit worried about that, to be honest. I like my whoops. Are you guys lost? We're pretty deep in the forest. Nope. We're doing just fine. Are you sure? We're pretty far from anywhere. Yup. That's strange. I can't sense a fountain anywhere. Fountain? This looks like Ralsei. This looks like, um, Susie. Would that make... That's Chris. This is a freaking... This is... Very sneaky, Temmy. This is a reference to, um, Deltarune. Freaking awesome. Also, that does make what, um... <laughs> That does make it creepy what Susie said. Yeah, that is Ralsei, um, Susie, and Chris. That's awesome. We haven't played through that series yet, but I'll be putting it on the short list. I have a pretty long short list, though, so bear with me. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Oh, that just makes me want to go and play it. But I gotta do the genocide run of Undertale before I start um, Deltarune. And I've been saying that for ages, and then putting off the genocide run, because I know the ending is probably one of the hardest things I'll do in my entire gaming career. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to... Oh, that's a cow. Oop. I'm gonna go and hand in the pages, and then we're gonna go to that creepy dark house. Because if there is a proper ending, I feel like it's going to be in there. And you know why? Because it doesn't appear on the frickin' guide map even slightly. <laughs> I was, like, surprised to run into it. I walked in there and I was like, uh, what? The Chonk Bear. I love the Chonk Bear. You know, this game has been pretty inspirational to me, because it's like, it's really showed me how much you can pack into, like, a fairly small area. And we've got, like, what, five, five episodes out of it? It's pretty freaking good. Why are there some ghosts that I can talk to that disappear, and others that I can't? Creepy. The time had come. I couldn't wait on this any longer. I had to make a decision. I agonized over the reality of the situation. It hit me. It was finally here. What I'd been running from. What I'd kept a secret from Yoki. I knew. But I couldn't tell her about any of this. I couldn't let her be involved in my life anymore. Everything will end. I couldn't let them find out about her. I couldn't let them find out about her connection to me. I couldn't... I can't let them find out about her power. There were some nearby... They were somewhere nearby. They left their traces. 
I know they did it on purpose. They could be in the village. They could be in the forest. I'll find them. And I'll lead them away from this place. They'll never learn about this house. I knew. To protect the only family I'd ever known. I'd have to disappear. Aww. I wished that I could have lived the rest of our lives together in this house. I'm sorry that I can no longer help you search for your sister. Perhaps there was no void in your heart left by your forgotten sister. But you helped me fill a void in mine. In all our years together, I thought of you as a sister to me. Goodbye. I hope we get to meet again one day. Are you back yet? Charles? Was it that you were run- What was it that you were running from? Why couldn't you tell me? We could have faced this obstacle together. I wanted to be there for you. Like you were for me. I know you'll come back one day. I'll keep the house tidy for you. For when you come back. Ah, so the rundown house that they cleaned up is the house that Yoki and Claire live in. And I guess he came out here to hide out for a while. I think that's enough for today. I should head back. I'm sure Claire's wondering where I am. Oh, maybe there is an ending. Well, we're going to head over to that dark house first. And you know what? Let's be lazy about it. Let's get a lift. Enjoying the carriage ride, eh? Another? Sure. Yes, thank you. Alright, hop on in. Take care now. Alrighty then. Well, you know what, actually, I'll save it, just in case. Even though, like, you know what, if we've done everything, I'm probably not going to be playing it again. Uh, playing it again. Man, I can't talk. It's probably because it's 7.45am and I've been awake all night recording and playing stuff. <laughs> oh well. Bear with me, we're nearly through it. Sorry, I've been, uh, stumbling on my words a little bit. Um, I think we gotta go to the right, don't we? I gotta find out what's up with this creepy castle, man. I can't just not. I didn't really even want to walk away from it, but I thought that that might be, like, the ending. But it seems like we do that, and then we go back to the house where Claire is, and maybe that's the ending? Actually, you know what? This is an ideal place to save. Charles, man. What were you running from? I really want to know. Sneaky, Tammy. Very sneaky. I was about to panic. <laughs> There's always a place for you here. Not even cranberry juice? Well... Oh, this must be where Zara lives. A pristine sink, and a single plate in there. Something smells really good. They won't trick me with tasty food. I do, I do wonder what they're baking, though. Oh, you've come, miss. Is there anything I can get you? Stay as long as you like. Isn't it sunny out? It looks like nighttime from this window. Is the glass tinted? 
I feel like I shouldn't look through his fridge. I don't want to know what that guy eats. There is a very ominous feeling about this place. You've spoken with the dragon familiar who's obtained his own being? We will squash that pest. I hope you don't. I like the dragon. My reflection. It started laughing. Is that a portrait of himself? It smiled back at me. Why is this house so creepy? What an impressive looking sword. This crystal. It's weirdly soothing. There are many different crystals that exist. Ones that contain a holy light. Ones that hurt us. And the ones we are connected to. The ones that give us life. The ones that we give life to. And so, what about you? What is your relationship to these crystals? In the end, maybe you are not so different from us. I think I'm very different from you. Creepy person that just rocked up later. This is a room being kept for a certain someone. We tidy it every day, as we wait for the day they join us. And who would that someone be? <laughs> My reflection. Did it just smile back at me? Yeah, we're not going in there. Oh. Okay then. Sorry, not even you may enter Lord Zera's room. I guess we're done here. This was a cool little thing to add, and I'm very glad that I stumbled across it, because that would have been annoying to miss. Well, I guess it's time for us to head home. To our dear, dear Claire. In the, um, relationship chart as well, uh, Temi wrote a note saying that you can interpret relationships how you like, but her relationship chart showed that Claire is romantically in love with, well, not in, maybe not in love with, but very interested in um, to, uh, Yoki very, very much so, but Yoki just views her as a friend and isn't interested in anyone romantically. Which I kind of like. I, I prefer that, to be honest. Because people ship people way too much. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Just let, let things happen, man. I know it's nice to swoon over people being cute together, and I would be lying if I said I didn't do it often. Um, anyway. <laughs> but still, like, you know kind of ruins things a little bit sometimes, you know? And I prefer the innocence of this game, to be completely honest. Hey, Claire! What's up? You look pretty down. Are you okay? I'm okay. Just had a long walk. I'm just tired is all. I managed to clear my head from that awful nightmare I had earlier. Uh, are you sure you don't want to tell me what's really on your mind? Really, I'm alright, Claire. But I really appreciate your concern. It means a lot. I'm gonna head to bed, okay? Okay, sweet dreams. I'm worried about you, you know. I 
wonder how long this will go on for. Claire living here, my work at the post office, work at the castle, Zera's visits. I thought Charles would stay here forever. But one day, he just left. Will everything I have now, these peaceful days, will it all vanish as well? No, I shouldn't think this way. Charles will come back one day, and nothing will vanish if I work to make sure it doesn't. That was quite a long stroll. I think I could probably get some good sleep finally. Something that still bothers me. A sister. Did I have a sister? What was my life like before I met Charles? Why can't I remember? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Think what you like. Stay as blissfully ignorant as you are now. That'll make everything easier. In time. Everything you are will be mine. Enjoy these remaining peaceful days while it lasts. He won't be able to hold it back anymore. Her influence will reach here soon. I'll make sure you're ready, Yoki. Hell yeah, dude. All Art Story by Chami Chang. Music. Hell yeah. Catac catacomb. Oh, damn. Oh, right, because... um Oh, and Yan Fly in there as well. Because of um the engine she used, of course, obviously. <laughs> it hurts. Someone stop me. I don't want to hurt you. Ooh. Ooh. Yoki. Is that our sister? <laughs> I'm a little bub, yes! Beast types, a theory on their origin. It is believed that beast types are those who have arrived from another world, but are incompatible with the world they've entered. This creates an instability in their form while retaining varying levels of their previous identity. They constantly stabilize and destabilize their appearance based on their emotions. Oh, I forgot to return that to the library. I'll put it back one of these days. I can't read it anyway. The words are too difficult for me to understand. This is Temmie, by the way. Wow, welcome to the bonus room. You went through a lot of reading just to get here, huh? Well, I hope you're ready for more of it. You must be thinking, who is this? I'm Tem, of course, or Temmie, the creator of this game. I hope you really liked it. I know you don't really do much except walk around and make images appear, but... I learned how vari uh, variables work here. Yeah. Variables are annoying. But once you learn them, you learn them. So there's cool random stuff sometimes. Like this! <laughs> I worked really hard on drawing all the art and writing things. I even tried my hand at music, but it was too hard. So, I made Toby and Camilla do it instead. <laughs> Camilla? Sorry. Isn't the music amazing? Better than the game itself, if I do say so myself. Oh, come on now. It is obviously a cohesive piece. Well, anyway, insert player name here. What can I do for you? What's your favorite color? Orange. What can I do for you? What's next? A good question. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I've been thinking I want to try doing a comic. So maybe a small little comic thing? Or maybe another game? Or oh, then maybe another game. I also want to do another animated video at some point. I'm eager to continue this story in many different mediums. I just haven't figured out which ones yet. What else can I do for you? Lonely Girl? Well, if you want to see. Yes! I smell it! I smell it! I smell that scent! 
She was here recently. Yuki was here. I'll find and eat. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Should we go into our house first? I think we should go into our house first. Oh, that's not our house. I am curious, and I am glad that I looked. Trusty spear! My glasses! I don't need it anymore. My nose is my sight. Friend! Comfy bed! Tasty bones! <laughs> I love this character. Honestly, though. Tasty bones, comfy bed, trusty spear. Hey, it's a model. Uh, it's you. It's the tasty looking rabbit! You're not gonna attack me, are you? I finally finished repairing my arm. Don't make me do it again. I smell a familiar scent. It's Yoki! You were with Yoki earlier! I was, yeah. Better not think of going after her again. She has enough to deal with. Enough talk. I'll eat you too! We'll see about that. Well... I'm sure she'll be okay. I should run off before she regains consciousness. Huh? Huh? Where'd Rabbit go? I'll go find her. She won't get away from me that easy easily. <laughs> that smell? It smells familiar. It's coming from here. This paper. What's on here? This. This is... This is from... Okay, so the character from Escaped Chasm is the beast tri uh, beast type girl. Wow, that's awesome. Mom. What else can I do for you? Beast type? Yeah! Cool name, right? Totally doesn't sound like a temporary name at all. Sorry, I'm never good at thinking up names. But it's okay. Beast types are just this world's naming convention for them. It's not like other worlds will all use the same names for each character or concept. I'll have more chances to think of better names for them. Other worlds? Other worlds! Yeah. You'll see one day, I hope. Isn't it amazing? The music? Isn't it way too good to be in a silly little game like this? Seriously. No. It's not too good for it. It actually fits it very, very well, actually. Camellia and Toby are really incredible, huh? A few of the arrangements are actually from some melodies I made originally. My original songs were really rough. I'm still a novice at music making. When I listened to the arrangements Camellia made of them, I actually teared up. To hear such a cool arrangement of a song that I made myself, it was a really inspiring feeling. It makes me want to make more music. Aww. Thames box. Thames pewter. It's very fancy and has large monitor. There's also food stains all over it. <laughs> Thames laptop. It's very slow and has food stains all over it. My keyboard is a second plate. <laughs> a collection of Thames' favorite manga. There's so many. I like to buy the physics, the physicals and support the artists. Yeah, that's a good idea. A soft comfy bed. I tend to sleep at the bottom of the corner of the bed. I don't know why, but I find it very comforting. It's also imperative that my pillow is flat or my neck hurts in the morning. I just thought you'd like to know a little bit, little tidbit about me. Aww. Yeah, I, um... 
I have a pillow specifically that I hug, and I pretty much sleep in the fetal position, and apparently I talk in my sleep. <laughs> so yeah, I think everybody just has talk has sleeping quirks. Oh, a puzzle. Hop hop. Have you thought about playing the game Avoiding Zero? That guy is more sensitive than you might think. What a lovely painting. can I do for you? Get out of here! Okay. Aww. I don't really want you to leave. No! Come back. Damn no. Okay, now something I didn't mention was that there are nine endings to this game and a lot of them are dependent on how many illustrations you see. I believe there's 31 all up, um, but some of them are a little bit finicky. Anyway, this first ending is um, in Zera's castle himself. So, sorry, not even you may enter Lord Zera's room. Okay, we're not going to go back into that room. The room of the eyeball. That's a bad time. This is a room being kept for a certain someone. We tidy it up every day, as we wait for the day they join us. And? Who would that someone be? If I don't even want to sleep in my own bed, why would I sleep here? Maybe. Just a small nap. Hehe. <laughs> so, you finally decided to join us. We've been waiting for so long. Lord Zera will be so pleased. Cute. There's no turning back now. You are ours. <laughs> You'll stay with us forever and ever and become one of us. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty cool, right? Now, for the final ending, you obtain this third major ending by ignoring Zera the whole game. There's only three times. One of the times is when you go off on the adventure with the adventurers, or tailing the adventurers anyway. Another time is right outside the house at the beginning of the game, and another time is in the ship's bar, I believe. Anyway, yeah. Take us up, Est. Alright, cool. I like Est. Est has a good character design. Notice how there's no music? Yeah. In fact, there's nothing. And this is signaling that I have done it. So, yeah, let's do it. How unkind of you to just ignore me like that. Oh, sorry. Was that you standing next to the front door earlier? I didn't notice. You know I don't appreciate being treated like this. It's quite disrespectful. Like you're one to talk. When have you ever shown any courtesy towards me? What's with this intimidating aura? 
Is he really that upset over being ignored earlier? Wh why Of all things. I do this for your own good, you know. Is he talking about the nightmares? You'll see one day. I don't see how planting bad dreams in my head every night is helpful at all. That guy, as mysterious as ever. Why do I have a feeling I won't be having pleasant dreams anytime soon? And there we go. I can't remember if there's a scene after the credits, I guess we'll find out. Thankfully the credits are pretty short. <laughs> Cute. Aw, oh, given her nightmares. Alright, well, I'm going to call out a series there. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes, and if you haven't watched it yet, go check out our um, Escaped Chasm playthrough. I think it's only one episode. Um, and check out... Um, our Undertale playthrough. I will be picking up the genocide route at some time soon. Um, I'll probably do it pretty soon, actually, because um, all this Temmie goodness got me in the mood, you know. I really need to do Deltarune at some point soon, but uh, maybe after I do the genocide route. I guess we'll see how we go. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and see you in the next series. And thanks, Temmie.